Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming my memory spread and this is for the week of November 2nd through November 8th. Um, I have a super beautiful and unique kit. This is called Love and Light and it's from the shop Rose Shadow Collection. This is a new shop for me and the first time that I have purchased from her. So I'm really thrilled to be using this kit and um, really quick, I'm gonna show you guys what's included. I absolutely love this artwork. I did just share in a haul um, so you guys might have already seen that but the kit itself includes eight full boxes but on this little holder um, there is an additional box here that I think I'm going to use because I think this girl is so gorgeous and then um, here we have some foiled headers at the bottom on this next page we have a ton of flags checklists and the circle icons and hexagons here we have uh, more headers and she has the scallop header options, which I think are so pretty. We've got some Monday through Sunday boxes here, some little arrows, work stickers, um, these half, I guess, scallop labels, and a weekend banner. This page has the bottom washi, oh, it's upside down. We've got the bottom washi, and then we have some date covers, um, habit trackers, and a three bow checklist here at the bottom. And then the last page has a ton of, I think it's this way now, a ton of half boxes and quarter boxes, which I'm really happy about because I tend to use a bunch of boxes in my planning, so this should be plenty for me to work with. Um, so yeah, this is, like I said, my first time using a kit from Rose Shadow Collection, and I really love how her kit are formatted um, so I think it's going to turn out really pretty and of course I'm going to be pulling in more gold foil so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right in and um, I will let you guys know what I do as we go along I really, really loved both of the bottom washies that came in the kit, so I decided to go ahead and pull them both in. I did have to trim down that bottom piece a little bit in order for it to fit, but um, it didn't take me very long. And as you guys can see, these bottom washi strips are like both full length, and instead of trimming it off at the sidebar, I decided to just have it extend into my sidebar, and I actually really like how that looked. I then go ahead and place down that full box with the girl at the top. That was the extra one that came in the kit. And then I placed down all the boxes that I was planning to use for the sidebar. Of course, as usual, I'm tracking my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. Um, so once I go ahead and lay down all the boxes, I fill in the headers. And that gold foiled workout shoe sticker is from Paper Muse Crafts. This kit came with these really pretty date covers, which I placed down, but I couldn't find foil date dots for this week's dates. Um, so I just had to write them in myself, which was totally fine. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move on to memory planning for Monday. I first placed down one of those really pretty foiled headers. I just love that design. It kind of reminds me of like the moon cycle. I think that's maybe what it's supposed to be. And then I wanted to mark that I grabbed some coffee on Monday, like I usually do. And that coffee sticker is from Hazel Sticker. Monday was a no student day at my school, so um, I had a chance to catch up on some reports, which is always lovely. That bow sticker is also from Hazel Sticker, and then I go ahead and place down a full box underneath. I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, so I marked that with a flag that came with a kit, and this is how I've marked IEP meetings for pretty much ever since I started planning, and I have switched it up a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I still really like to use flags to mark those meetings. Um, but anyways, then I went to Trader Joe's after work, so I decided to use a quarter box to mark that, and that grocery icon is from Art Box Stickers, but unfortunately, she closed her shop recently, and I don't know if she has any plans of re opening. On the half box at the bottom, I used a phone sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I FaceTimed with my mom and my sister that day. And then I used a hexagon with a foiled shoe icon, which is also from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I did a workout on Monday. That was pretty much it, so I go ahead and move on to Tuesday. Um, so at the very top of Tuesday, I placed down a half box and a pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that Tuesday was election day here in the United States. This election was definitely a very important one, and luckily I was able to mail in my vote, so I had already taken care of that last week. Um, but anyways, then I used a scalloped header with a quarter box and a bow arrow, which is from the kit, to mark that Tuesday was minimum day um, because this was um, parent-teacher conference week so we do have like minimum days to allow the teachers a chance to meet with all the parents 
I then placed down that half scallop and on top of that, I used a foiled header to cover up the gray um, header of my planner. And I used that to mark an afternoon meeting that I had. I'm pretty sure it was an IEP. So I did decide to switch up how I marked it. And then um, I placed down a full box a little bit underneath so that I still had a little bit of white space on top of that. Um, the mail sticker that I placed down is from Magic Prince Co. We had to um, return some mail to a neighbor that accidentally ended up at our house. And then at the very bottom, I placed down a quarter box with a phone icon that is from Panda Bird Designs and I think it's so pretty but it is kind of large so it takes up quite a bit of space but I use that to mark doing a zoom chat with some of my best girlfriends um, because we were just all so nervous about the election so we just needed a little distraction to get through it. On Wednesday, I first started by placing down a full box and then I used a quarter box with this really cute poop day sticker and that was to mark the election stress that I had been feeling like I had already mentioned. And then Wednesday was minimum day again at work. So I used a work icon from the kit to mark that. And then underneath that, I wanted to mark a couple meetings that I had. So I pulled in this circle icon that was also from the kit. I wanted to mark that I grabbed some Wahoos for lunch that day, um, so I used a half box to mark that. The taco sticker is from Plans with Vanessa, and then that little foiled bow I pulled in is from Chic Chic Designs. I somehow managed to do another workout that night, um, so I put that on a flag, and that shoe sticker is from Art Box Stickers. And then at the very bottom, I used a foiled bow TV icon that is from um, my spoiled planner, and I use that to mark starting the show Emily in Paris, which I absolutely adored. It was so cute. Um, let me know if you guys have also watched it and what your thoughts were, because I definitely heard some mixed reviews, and I'm just so curious as to um, what you guys think. On Thursday, I first placed down a checklist at the bottom and I used another foiled header on top. Um, I think I decided to build from the bottom up because I had a ton of things that happened and I wasn't sure how much of it I could fit into the day. Um, so you see me just laying down all of the boxes and the full box that I was planning to use before I get to the top. I started the day by placing down a scallop header and then I used another work arrow from the kit to mark something I did for work. I then grabbed some Del Taco for lunch that day. Um, so I used a hexagon and a utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that. Moving a little further down the spread on the half box, I used an IEP script sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a meeting that afternoon. And then on the quarter box, I placed down a bow, which is also from Hazel Sticker to mark that my boyfriend made some homemade bread. And oh my gosh, there's just nothing quite like fresh bread out of the oven. It is so good. Um, some nights we've honestly just like had an entire loaf of bread and just called it dinner. But anyways, I filled out my checklist at the very end of the day and then I move on to Friday. For Friday, I first placed down a full box towards the bottom and another scallop header on top of that to cover up the gray header on my planner. And then I go ahead and move to the top and start by marking my coffee for the day. I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. And then I pulled in a flag from the kit to mark that I had another IEP that afternoon. I then used a half box to mark that I did a workout that day. So I actually managed to do a few workouts on this week. The shoe sticker is from Paper Muse Crafts. And then we got some takeout from our favorite Mexican place that night. Um, oh my gosh, I just realized I had a ton of Mexican food this week, um, but I'm not complaining because Mexican food is definitely one of my favorites. And um, I used another taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that. I then placed down a quarter box and used a TV from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I watched more of Emily in Paris. And then I had a little bit of extra space left, so I decided to pull in this really pretty bow divider sticker, and that's from my spoiled planner. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and then I used a foiled header with a half box and a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that Saturday was, um, I guess, kind of the first official announcement of Biden and Harris winning the presidential election, which I'm so thrilled about. Um, unfortunately, at this point, I feel like it's still not even over. I mean, it's been over, but you know, someone who will not be named um, refuses to acknowledge that he's lost and is just being a complete sore loser about it. So anyways, that was still really exciting news on Saturday and just something I was so grateful for. Um, then underneath that, I initially put down a house icon from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark um, that we went to go look at more houses because we were still house searching at this point. But then I remember there was something else I wanted to mark above that. So to essentially white out the text, um, I just go ahead and 
cut up a small piece of uh, planner paper that I wasn't going to be using and just glue it right on top. Um, that hides the text pretty well and it also blends in with the paper color. And then I cut out this little box sticker from Moji Kichi and I placed some gold foiled hearts on top of that. Those are from the Pretty Pink Co. And I used that to mark helping some of our friends move that morning because they had just bought a new house, which is super exciting for them. And um, then I replaced that house icon I initially used to mark going to look at five different homes on that day. For some reason, I just get so exhausted when we go and look at houses. Um, so I ended up taking a nap when I got home. That sleeping mask sticker is from Simply Said Life. And then at the very bottom, I just placed down a checklist to mark some things that I did that night. For Sunday, I decided to first place down the full box in the middle of the day, um, just because I already knew that's where I wanted it. And then I moved to the top and first used a foiled header and a quarter box. Um, the coffee sticker I pulled in is from Hazel Sticker and I used that to mark having coffee. And that morning I was making and preparing some meals for the homeless. It's part of a program that I have signed up for and um, they basically serve LA and like surrounding areas. So it's such a great organization if you guys um, live anywhere around LA and want to help out, let me know and I can send you the information. Um, but anyways, that grocery bag icon I used to mark that is from Artbox stickers. And then I did some puzzling afterwards. Um, and initially I wanted to pull in this puzzle sticker from Paper Muse Crafts, but it really didn't fit in that space. So I decided to use a checkbox from Samantha May Sticks instead. I then decided to switch out the header and the quarter box at the very top for a darker brown color one instead because I realized I wanted more of that darker shade at the top. So I go ahead and make that switch and then move back to continuing with the day. On that half box, I ended up using the puzzle sticker from Paper Muse Crafts to mark that we played a board game with some of our friends that day. Um, it's the Pandemic Season Zero like legacy game, and it just feels so appropriate for what we're going through right now, but it is really fun, but it does take quite a while to complete, so we've been playing it in small chunks. Underneath that, I used another scallop header and a um, quarter box, and that house sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs. I decided to use another gold foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs inside um, just to add a little foiling and I used that to mark that we continued our house search online and then at the bottom I just had some empty space so I pulled in another bow divider from my spoiled planner. I then realized that I had a little empty space on Wednesday so I go ahead and use another bow divider again those are from my spoiled planner and then I moved to my sidebar and start to track all my workouts my happy moments and all my dinners. Once I'm done filling that out, I'm just now showing you guys the stickers that I have left in this kit. I have so much left because this kit was really full and honestly, I was able to use pretty much everything from the kit. I don't think I pulled in any boxes or any functional things um, because this kit just came with so much, which was great. And um, now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling in the spread. Here's a closer look at the details of the spread and oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. I think it's so beautiful. I love these neutral colors paired with the gold foil and I just think this kit is so absolutely gorgeous and really unique. Um, I didn't end up using the full box with the cat, which was like my favorite one, um, but I just didn't think it matched the kit as well. So I did decide to forego it, um, unfortunately, but honestly, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I think I'm definitely going to have to purchase another kit from her shop because um, her designs are great, but also her format is like amazing. I just love all the functional stuff that she includes. Um, so I would highly recommend her shop. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel as always. I hope you guys are all taking care and enjoying this holiday season however you can. And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.